Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I, and I am him, the 800 Credit Score Man himself. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in, giving me 30 minutes of your time on Saturdays. Saturdays at 1.30 Central Standard Time, 2.30 on the East Coast, and that means it is 11.30 a.m. on the West Coast. So again, thank each and every one of you for tuning in and listening to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. So let's dive right into what we're going to talk about today. I don't want to delay this at all. Today we're going to talk about non-traditional items to place on your credit report to help you build your credit and move your credit scores upward into a better atmosphere if you will all right so we know that you know your credit scores are dependent on items that are on your credit report so what items are really on your credit report let's start there these are what i'm calling today traditional items on your credit report now traditionally you'll find your student loans if you have any of those on your credit report if you financed a car before, then that is going to be on your credit report. And of course, if you have a mortgage because you own a home, that is going to be on your credit report. Even if you have a second mortgage or if you did a home equity loan, all of those kinds of items will be on your credit report. And of course, credit cards. If you have a credit card, if you have two credit cards, if you have 12 credit cards, they're all going to be on your credit report. So those items are traditional um, things and accounts that are on your credit report. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about non-traditional items that could be on your credit report and how will that affect you positively or negatively, um, how that's going to help or hurt you. So non-traditional items that could be on your credit report, I'm talking about your rent. So if you're a renter, you're a long-term renter, you've been renting forever, um, it's a potential that you can add rental payments onto your credit report. We'll get into the into this today on how good or how bad this is for you. We'll get into that today. Your utilities could potentially be on your um, credit report as well. This is something that would be non-traditional. And I threw in their cell phones and cable, but I'm not sure that anybody's able to add those things onto your credit report at this particular point in time. And you'll see why I say that um, throughout the show. So we're going to talk about that. And then in the second half of the show, because if you're familiar with this show at all, if you're not, if this is your first time listening, I want to say welcome to you. For people that have listened to the show before, you know I come on, I present this topic to you. We're going to speak about the topic for the day, and then we're going to have a question of the day in the middle of the show. There will be a question of the day, something that I got from one of the listeners or somebody I'm in contact with um, in the Facebook group, um, Credit Score Comeback. If you are not in that group, I would recommend you get to Credit Score Comeback on Facebook, get to that group, and um, continue the dialogue that we have in there. Or, you know, I got this information from somebody emailed me or what have you. So, um, so that's where the question of the day comes from. It comes from you, the listeners. This show is only as good as you guys are. So please contact me, send me information, um, any information that you find, um, send me questions, things like that, and we can have a conversation around it um, as well. So please do that. Contact me at 800creditscoreman at gmail.com. Do that. Send me an email, and I will definitely get back to you. And then toward the end of the show, we're going to do the credit score kiss. And the KISS is K-I-S-S, that's Keep It Smart and Simple. This is the action portion of the show. This is something for you to do, something that could potent potentially help you increase your credit score or something that gives you additional knowledge about the credit scoring system. So if you do have an issue come up again or somebody asks you a question while you're sitting you know, at the barbershop or beauty salon, then you say, hey, I heard from the 800 credit score man, this is what you're supposed to do in here, and here's an article he told me to read. So that's what the credit score kiss is about. So let's jump into this traditional and non-traditional. So I talked, and you know what the traditional are. So I told you what the traditional are. So I want to um, start with, and I want to really delve, delve into um, to rental. So if you are a renter, and you've been renting for a long time, been renting for two years you've been renting for 12 years you never bought a home you're 45 years old you never bought a home so you've been renting forever it seems so if you've been doing that you're missing out on a lot of things actually so this is not a tax show or you know debt consolidation show however if you're a homeowner then of course you know that you get a tax break 
um, for being a homeowner. You don't get that same thing when you're a renter. So you're losing out on that particular end. Then also, if you're a homeowner, um, that mortgage is on your credit report. And if you're a good steward over it, you always make your payments on time, then it's a positive account for you. And since it is a mortgage, it seems to hold a little more weight if you will, than other um, kinds of accounts that are on your credit report. So as a renter, you don't have that particular thing. So you're at a, a distinct um, disadvantage when it comes to that. But here's what you can do. I'm going to let you know how. Um, first, let me let you know that, yes, you can place your rental payments onto your credit report. There are companies out there that will assist you in doing so. Now, of course, Nothing is for free. Nothing's for free except for that Facebook group I just mentioned to you. You can you can sign up for that Facebook um, group for free. Credit score comeback. So definitely get there. But nothing's for free. So of course you there are companies out there that will assist you in placing your rental onto your uh, your rental payments onto your credit report. Uh, and then where do you go? I'm gonna tell you a little bit about where you should go um, to get this done as well. Now let me caution you. This is not, this is not, first of all, everything that I tell you is to help you improve your credit scores. Because if you improve your credit scores, the interest rates that you pay, the things that you can apply for and be approved for are going to be good for you. And the interest rates that you pay are going to be lower and you're going to save yourself more money. So this is not for the people that get evicted, that always are late. And they get that pink notice put on their door. It's not for the people that um, are are getting put out of their places um, or close to getting put out of their places every single month. This is not for you. You don't want to add something to your credit report that is not going to be good for you when it doesn't have to go on there. So that's a word of caution for you. So it's not for those people at all. It's for people that pay their rent on time all the time. Even if you've got that um, that grace period, so you know rent's due on the first, but they give you to the fifth before it's late. Even if you've got that grace period and you always pay during that time, this is for you if you've always done that. So here's what you can do. First of all, it doesn't matter if you're at a big company or you have an individual that you're renting from. You can get this done by both. So if it's a big company that you rent from, or you know it's Joe Blow that you rent from you can get this done as well and again it will cost somebody i don't know how many landlords are willing to eat the cost of this but it may be in your best interest to get this done if your landlord has never done this before or um, doesn't know anything about it you may need to do some research for them to help them out in this regard and you're helping them out but you're really helping yourself out as well so you might have to do a little research Present this to them that you would like your rental payments to be placed onto your credit report. So the fee, if you think it's worth it, then you should go ahead and do it in my opinion. And you think that you're going to be um, paying your rent on time. If you just signed the lease, you just signed the lease in the month of February and you definitely have 12 months to go. This would be a great time, an absolute great time for you to sign up with one of these places and have this reported to your credit um, bureau in a positive manner to help you build and establish credit and get another positive trade account on your credit report. So when you contact um, the places, and I'll give you some information regarding them as well, here's what happens. So you contact them and you say, I would like to get this service. So here's what's going to happen and here's how the service um, works. First of all, I need you to make sure that they report to all three credit bureaus. That's TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. I contacted several places. Most of them only dealt with two. You know, they might have dealt with TransUnion and Equifax, but they didn't deal with Experian. They dealt with Experian and Equifax, but they didn't deal with TransUnion. Um, so make sure that they report to all three because you want this positive trade account to be on all three of your credit bureaus so it helps you out across the board. If you're sitting in an apartment now and you plan to buy a home, you know, when you leave this particular apartment, when you go to the mortgage company, they're going to pull all three credit bureaus. So the one that is not showing on is that that credit score is going to be different and it's probably going to be lower because you don't have that additional account 
and it's not positive on that particular um, credit bureau. So make sure that they report to all three. So I did find one company, one company that says that they report to all three of the credit bureaus. I'm not endorsing them. I don't know anything about them, but they say, they say that they report to all three of the credit bureaus. So they're not paying me. So it gets no airplay here. However, however, if you want to know what this company is and the name of this company, feel free to contact me. Shoot me an email at 800 credit score man at gmail.com. You know, you can contact me on Instagram or you can contact me on Twitter. Twitter is at um, credit score underscore man. Um, everything else is at 800 credit score man. Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram. Um, you can contact me there and send me an email and I'll give you the name of the company that says they report to all three. And you can verify that yourself. And if you do it, please let me know that that happened. Okay. So, like I said, there's a cost to it. Make sure that they report to all three of the credit bureaus. Now, here's what they don't do. They don't go backwards. So, it only works from, like, the time that you sign up with them and going forward. So, you're not going to get credit because you've been renting for the last six years. They're not going to contact your um, your landlord and say, hey, has this person been on time the last six, eight months so we can place this on their credit report? That's not going to happen. It'll start. So, now it's month of February. You sign up and you start with them on March the 1st, then from March the 1st forward, you'll be, uh, it'll be on your credit report and it'll be reporting um, positively, hopefully, um, for each and every one of you. So here's what happens. Instead of paying your rent the traditional way, whatever traditional way that is for you, some people, if you live in a big apartment complex, you drop a check, you know, at the, at the desk, you know, you know, you slide it in some, in a mailbox. Um, if you have an individual, maybe you direct deposit it to one of their accounts or your landlord comes and picks it up from you, you know, physically comes and picks it up from you. However you do it now, that's going to change. So what will happen is you will pay the company that's in between the company that is going to place this on your credit report because this is the only way that they have to actually verify that you actually paid your rent on time. So you're going to pay through them. You pay through them. They make sure that um, your landlord gets their money on time, and that's how it works. So when you pay them, they report it to the credit bureau saying, yes, this person paid. You know, they paid March 1st. They weren't late, and it's placed on your credit on your credit report. And then they're going to make sure that your landlord gets paid through that way. So they're like the middleman in there, and that's what they're doing. Now, this may take some convincing for you to convince your landlord that this is something positive for them because they may not want anybody else messing with their money. So they want to make sure that they get paid. And if they don't get paid on time or the time that they're used to being paid, then it might be an issue for them. But this is where your salesmanship comes in. This is where you tell them how great of a tenant you have been um, because you've always been one. So and you need this to help you out. And the reason that the companies decided, hey, we can't go back and just take the landlord's word um, about somebody because that can cut both ways. So a landlord could be very nice and love you guys to death and they want to see you strive. So they're saying, hey, great things about you. They always pay on time. They're a good tenant, etc." Or you could have a landlord that doesn't like you because this, that and the other. Because, you know, rent was supposed to be $1,200 and you were able to negotiate $1,100. So he doesn't particularly care for you. Or you call him every time an ice cube doesn't come out of your refrigerator. So he doesn't like you. And then he can, you know, throw salt on that game for you. So this is why they only collect through themselves where they can verify it. And then they'll send that, that information to the credit bureau. And this will help you establish credit and to give you an additional account um, as well on your credit bureau. So um, that's the information that I got to give you today about this non-traditional, non-traditional way of having something placed on your credit report in a positive manner. So to all my renters out there, look into this information, um, look into this information for sure, to all the renters out there. And especially if you have a lack of credit, um, and a lack of credit, if you only have one credit card and two student loans on your credit report, that's not enough credit, especially if you're looking to buy.